certainly something that needs to be asked about, especially if there's been a, a recent drop off in school performance, uh, especially in a teenager, you need to think about substance abuse. Um, if a child's having problems at home with, with uh, parents or siblings, or there have been family upsets or deaths in the family, or problems at school, you hear a lot about bullying these days and other things like that, certainly can affect uh, their performance. And you can think of the same analogy when an adult, if there's something upsetting at home mm -hmm. or at work, it's going to affect their performance in the workplace. And lastly, you say sleep and nutrition can cause some problems. We see a lot of kids who go to bed at uh, 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning and they're not yes. going to function well uh, <laughs> or, or skip breakfast or skip meals and, and that, that'll, that'll make you run low also. Very briefly, we want to talk about medications and how they can affect a child's performance. You say antihistamines, seizure medications, and medications for depression can all have an effect on how that child is performing? There are a number of medications. Of course, there's medications that we use in some instances, mm -hmm. for example, with attention deficit that can help children. But some of the, especially the over-the-counter antihistamines, can be sedating, not for all children, but for some children. Uh, some cough and cold medications would be similar. And some seizure medications can affect them. And um, uh, some of the antidepressants that are sometimes used in children can cause sedation too. And of course, you have to balance that with the fact that untreated some of these conditions can also impair their learning as well. When should parents take their concern that one step further and seek medical advice? I think if they've talked to the uh, teacher and, and they're working through some issues and they don't seem to be reconciling over a brief, brief period of time and they're not feeling like they're getting a handle on things and especially if they suspect there might be a, an ongoing uh, or underlying medical condition it's probably appro appropriate to uh, have a discussion with a pediatrician about it. One thing I tell my patients is when you come in for something like that make sure you ask for a little extra time because it takes a little longer than working through a sore throat or a sore ear to talk about some of these things. Dr. Gallup thanks so much for stopping by. Thank you. And we want to give folks a number to call just in case they have more questions or information We'll provide that for you a little bit later. Your Fox 6 News time now. It's 8.14 and still ahead. The North Side meets the South Side in a special softball tournament. We'll tell you all about it. What's coming up next? How can